Here we go. We're gonna fix this slab roller. <laughs> you and me, babe. You and me, babe. You're just nothing else like you. We're ready to come up. Superman is off for the time being. Which is definitely something to be grateful for. And um, we're fixing the slab roller and we got to the pottery um, supply house. We have tangled wire tools. <laughs> but we have supplies again. We have more clay again. Um, it's a pretty enough day that we can leave the um, garage door open. All sorts of grateful, grateful things. So, grateful for you too. Thanks for coming along. Somebody changed the cables at one point and did it wrong. Uh, there are. You bring it over. You it. Oh, okay, yeah. Okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna reposition the camera. Here we go. I got it. I got it. Okay, cool. So these two bolts right here are so one is supposed to be on this side and one is supposed to be on that side because they're both on the outside and it was this way when I got it. This is. This is called the tension plate, and the tension plate is wiggling like this as the rollers roll down and create the slab. Because the bolts are on the wrong side. If we have one bolt here and one bolt here, then sandwiching the plate, it won't it won't wiggle like that, and we won't have the fraying issue that we have in the cables. So that's exciting. Okay, so the way it's supposed to be is nut plate nut and so we have to fix that we've zip tied the bars in place and we have to shift those so that they are again parallel to the thing and it should be and i say should a simple matter of now just taking the new cables spinning them up the way they're supposed to be and replacing everything the way it's supposed to be instead of the way it was, shoring these lines up. But it took us a while to figure out that ours was put together wrong. Huge thank you to the guy at Brent, Amico Brent, um, who not only identified that this is, in fact, a very old Brent slab roller. I will tell you why I love it later on. But um, also, when I sent my pictures, um, sent us very detailed instructions on how to put this thing back together so that we don't have the same problem again with the new cables. I will put the PDF that he sent me on um in the description and um, but i highly recommend as they do calling them and telling them and and sending them pictures and letting them help you because they will 
Uh, so, off to the races again. <laughs> Woohoo! Yeah. Sorry, the wheelchair's in the way. The wheel. Look at that. See how gnarly that is? Yeah. All those little burrs sticking out. It's insane. We can take a picture of it and I can put a picture up. Yeah, see all those burrs? Um, this is just terrible. It's awful. And every time that you would walk past, it would snag your pants or your sweater or whatever. It was just, it was, it was horrible. Um, but, um, we got it done. Not and hard. Not hard. Two people. Two hands. Two sets of hands. Um, we got the bottom board as well, right? And it did not, uh, we, I don't know if they sell the top canvas or not, but the top canvas is screwed onto the bottom board with these. It's recyclable. And um, bottom board was screwed on with these and I got them out, but we're gonna see if we can't get some new ones of these because these aren't pointing up the way we want them to to really grab onto the board and they're kind of a one-shot wonder like um like a dry drywall anchor and i'm afraid that if we stick them in and then they don't lay flat number one we'll have a bump in the top end of the slab roller that's going to bother all the other boards and number two we won't be able to get new ones at that point and um and so we're gonna see if we can't replace these if we can't we can't but this is your best friend <laughs> yes for getting the uh we're getting the rollers parallel yeah no yeah perpendicular parallel parallel to this bar parallel. perpendicular to the other ones yeah. there you go so both i'm a music teacher not a math teacher <laughs> geometry <laughs> uh yeah yeah the rubber mallet was great uh because it just gave you that little bit of without tap, bruising tap. your hands tap tap without bruising your hands um but we've got it put together right what we think happened was that somebody needed extra attention whoever the first owner of it was needed some extra attention on the on the rollers and um just put both bolts on the other side they couldn't get it unless they pulled that one bolt off so they just pulled it off and put it put it on the front not knowing that you know they were causing themselves more problems later on but and maybe that's why they got rid of it so what i like about these versus the other style that has the big wheel on it is that that wheel sits in the middle of a table and doesn't move so in order to use your slab roller you've got to, you you've got to have a clean table over here you got to have a clean table over here you pull your slab through it and then you have to move your slab emily uses this as a table as much as she uses it as a slab roller. yeah for home use this is fantastic you know for school use all your kids are gonna have to or or studio use where you're you're using it with other people you know your other people are gonna have to move their slabs anyway um, you know if we both wanted to use the slab roller sure yeah I'd have to roll out my slab and then move it um, so maybe the other other kind would be easier it's certainly easier to adjust the um, 
the height. But you know, you use about the same thickness of slab roller every time a slab every time you roll out a slab. So um, this for us at least is a no brainer as far as what type of slab roller we want because it's a table as well as a slab roller. It is an easy fix, but you need two people. If you find one that is out of commission, buy it. Um, they still sell parts for it. So, we're done for the night. We're gonna finish with the new uh, bed board, I think is what they call it on their website. And get these. Replace tomorrow. We should be able to put it together. There's no more clamps. Cause Superman, Superman. And you hurt yourself, huh? Yeah, I hurt myself on one of those clamps. I whacked it real hard. All sorts of great maintenance things in the studio today. <laughs> okay, it's time for the maiden voyage. The maiden voyage of our slab roller newly fixed. Look at the shiny, the shiny new cables. They're so fantastic. <laughs> Here we go. It's so quiet. And it's so much easier to do with just one hand. Oh my God, I love it. So it is still rubbing in that spot. No burrs. So it may, it may need to be exercised a little bit. And now, and it's rubbing over here in that same area, I guess. I don't know. I don't know. So it may need some adjustments, but oh my gosh, it's so much easier to roll. It's not making nearly as much noise. There are very, very few times when I go all the way down to the bottom and my boards are parallel again. <laughs> Look at that beautiful slab. And here I can, I can move it all the way around the studio or I can work with it right here or I can um, do all sorts of things. All right, so this is exactly like exactly a quarter of an inch. Exactly. A quarter of an inch left. It's fantastic! It's fantastic! So I highly recommend Brent. I want to thank them for sending me all of the paperwork to get this done. Um, you know, um, even going as far as taking the pictures that I sent them of this exact slab roller and saying, this is your problem. Um, and now, you know, we know how to, we know how to take care of it. So thank you, Amico Brent. I love, 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 love my slab roller. Um, SRC. few tweaks to do let's not let's not be let's not be uh um hasty with saying uh that it's not not lying about that that's a job 